Hi everyone. So this is Amber. I'm excited for you today to learn today how to make your own Bitmoji classroom. So a Bitmoji classroom basically is just a virtual classroom that you can make for your kids. And I also am going to show you how to make it interactive. Now, before I get started with the tutorial, I just want to show you my classroom and this is it right here it says i'm going to put it in present mode so you can see the various links and things that i have in here um, for the kids now i made this for my kids for the first week of school so they could um, get to know me and all that and this is it welcome to miss amber's virtual class and i am if i click on the words welcome to Miss Amber's virtual class, then it will take my kids to a, the vid a video that I made. So if I press play. Hello everyone, welcome to the 2000. I'm gonna stop that right there. And then also in my classroom, I if you click on the laptop, it will take the kids to an infographic tutorial because I wanted them to know how to make um, an infographic. So if I click on the laptop, it takes them automatically to the, to the tutorial. Hi everyone. So this is Miss Amber and I want to show you how to... Um... All right, let's stop right there. All right, let me go to the next slide of my virtual classroom. So this is my next slide. And if you click on the words Miss Amber, it takes the kids to a page where it will show them five fun facts about me. And then if I go to the last slide of my virtual classroom, they can click on the word expectations and that will take them to a slideshow, which will show them how um, my expectations for virtual learning. So if I present it, that will show them that. All right, I hope you're excited because I am. So to get to be able to make your own virtual classroom, you need to make sure you are in Chrome first, okay? Make sure you're in Chrome. Um, and then when you're in Chrome, make sure, I'm gonna open a new tab so I can show you. I would go to Google Slides. So I'm gonna type in Google Slides. And when you type in Google Slides, the first Google Slides is, um, the first link is usually where you would go. So I'm going to click on that. And I will click on go to Google Slides. And then I want to create a new presentation. So I'm going to click on blank. And there you go. All right, so we're on our new presentation now. Let me X out of themes. So to create a new presentation um, for your virtual classroom, the first thing I'm going to do is take off these text boxes because I do not need them. And you can take off your text boxes. There you go. And I want to put in a background. So the first thing you need to do is put in a background. So I'm going to click on background choose image and then i'm going to google image search and then the magic words are floor and wall background so i'm going to put in floor and wall background and voila so you see all of the floor and wall backgrounds that you can choose from so you choose whichever one you like this is the one i have for my classroom so I'm going to choose a different one. Let's choose this one. And then I'm going to click on insert. And done. Voila. So that makes it the entire background. Okay. The next thing you'll need to do is if you want to add images to, you want to add images. So you would go to insert, image, and then we want to search the web because you want to be able to get whatever images. This little box will click up um, to will pop up when you click on search the web. And then where search for images is, you're going to put in transparent. Transparent. 
because you don't want that white um, white outline behind your picture when you choose it, okay? So I always like to start with a whiteboard. So I'm going to put in transparent whiteboard. Voila, I like this one right here. I'm gonna click on it and click insert. See, I have my whiteboard. So all you'll need to do is to resize your whiteboard um, and what, resize your image when you put it in to be able to fit onto your page. Okay, resize that, looking good, looking good. There you go. So I have me a whiteboard in my classroom. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger here. Okay, all right. There you go, now I have a whiteboard. So let's go ahead and put in a couch in my classroom, okay? So let's go to insert, image, search the web. We're gonna keep that word transparent up there, transparent couch. So I put in transparent couch and they have many different options for you to choose from. And it just depends if you're going for a cartoon look or if you're going for a real look that's what you'll choose. I think we're going to choose this couch right here. I'm going to click insert. And I wanna put my couch over here in the corner, kind of. Put it up a little bit. Or actually, let's put it back down a little bit. Okay, now I wanna show you something. I wanna put a plant in here. So let's go ahead and choose a plant. Let's do a floor plant. Image, search the web, transparent floor plant. Okay. Let's see. I want to choose, let's see which one. Hmm. Okay, let's choose this one. No, 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 not that one. Let's choose this one. All right, transparent floor plant insert. Now I wanna show you something right quick. If you want, every time you put in a new image, if you notice it goes in front of whatever you put in before. So this goes in front of my couch, right? But if I want it to go behind the couch, all I would need to do is right click it. And then I'm going to put, um, choose the word order. And I want to send, put, click send backward. Okay. So if you notice now, it will go behind my couch. So it's not like in the way. I have a nice little plant there and it's behind the couch. It gives me, you know, some ambiance in my classroom. And I also want to show you how to change the sofa, the couch. If you can rotate it around, I'm going to choose the same thing. I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to click rotate. And let's say we want to put it, flip it. We want to flip horizontally and I can flip it and I can put it in this corner over here. So, you know, you can do choose different things. Um, I think I'm going to leave it over here in this corner just for this purpose, the purposes of this. I'm going to right click it, rotate, flip it back. All right. Very good. Okay, now that's how you can put your images in your background, okay? I wanna choose one more thing and I want to put in a bookshelf, all right? Search the web, transparent bookshelf. See my little classroom is coming together here and I'm going to click this one and insert. And let's put this bookshelf right over here kind of next to the plant a little bit, okay? There you go, there's my bookshelf. All right, to insert your Bitmoji into your classroom, what you'll need to do is click on the extensions because you will need to make a, a Bitmoji extension. So you will already have to have your Bitmoji ready and you can make your Bitmoji 
from you can download the app like onto your phone and then if you want to put it on your computer you have to um, add the bitmoji extension to your computer so i'm going to click on bitmoji and all of my emojis should pop up and i just want to put in a i want him i want her to sit on the couch so i'm going to click on sit copy it copy image and i'm going to paste it right into my classroom paste there you go oh there she is she popped up in the corner over there i'm gonna drag her over to the couch so she can sit on the couch all right there's miss amber okay awesome now let's say you wanted to put in um, some links let's say you wanted them to learn all about plants and you want them to be able to click on the plant to learn all about plants so what you would do is click on the plant you would type insert and link all right and you would basically just paste the link right there. So I found a YouTube video that teaches kids about plants, the parts of a plant. So right now I would go to that page. I would copy the link. I'm going to copy the link. I go back to my Google Slides presentation, my Bitmoji Classroom, and I would paste the link. And there you go. And I would click apply. So there you go. Now if the kids click on the plant, then that will pop up and they can click on parts of the plant video and it will pop up for them. Now, let's say that you wanted to insert um, words onto your whiteboard. Let's insert a text box. I'm going to show you how to insert a text box. You click insert text box. Let's click right here because we want the text box over here and I'm going to resize it and move it over to my whiteboard so I can click in the whiteboard. And I will begin typing. Welcome to class. Of course, you know you can use your different, um, different things up here to make it how you want to make it, how to look, okay? Welcome to class. Let's make it, let's just put welcome to class in the middle. Put it a little bit bigger. Welcome to class. All right, so there you go. That's a basic Bitmoji classroom. Um, I showed you how to insert a link. So if the kids click on the link, they'll be able to put that in there. And it's really, really fun. You just play around with it and it should, play around with it and it becomes addictive. So um, it's awesome. So I hope you enjoyed my video tutorial on how to create your own Bitmoji classroom. And I hope it was informative for you. So if you liked the video, go ahead and click thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and make sure you look out for my other tutorials that I will have um, relating to virtual learning since that's the phase most of us are in right now. Bye!